Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I have another plan with me for you for the week of September 14th through the 20th. For this week I pulled in the leopard kit from Scribble Prints Co. along with some simply gilded foiled washi and just a ton of gold foil from Scribble Prints Co. as well. I did pull in bougie boxes for this spread. So for this video I'm going to do something a little bit different and just go ahead and put some music on while I lay down the base. It is kind of a lengthy base process because I did use bougie boxes and just all of the foil overlays. It's Friday evening when I'm recording this voiceover and frankly, <laughs> I'm very tired. I don't have a whole lot to talk about. So yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and play some music and then I will be back when we get into the day by day.
So I'm going to jump back in just a little bit early here and mention that the September script that's in the upper left corner is from Rose Colored Days. The two scripts that are in the sidebar are from Kinsey's Creations, and the water trackers that I used for this week are from Glam Planner. Moving into the day by day, on Monday the first thing that I wanted to mark was that I was feeling very sleepy that day. So I used this very tired looking munchkin from Once More With Love and a tired AF script from Letters to Apollo. And then I marked work with a Clever Gal Crafts bow sticker and a work script from Scribble Prince Co. It was also trash day that day, so I wanted to mark that in with a garbage can icon in gold foil from SPC. I also did some vacuuming that day, so I pulled in this super old vacuum sticker from Scribble Prince Co. along with her new font vacuum script in gold foil. After vacuuming, I wanted to get some editing done, so I used a laptop sticker from Scribble Prince Co. in gold foil and an edit script from Kinsey's Creations. I think she might have actually resized her scripts since I purchased that edit script, so it might not be quite the same size as that one, at least the version that's in her shop right now, but I definitely recommend checking her out. After editing, I wanted to cook some good dinner. I think I probably made fish that day, which is why I used that plate sticker from Happy Daya. And then, yeah, just wanted to work on some tidying up and some yoga. I was originally going to use the icon that came with the kit, but it was a little bit too large for that space, so I pulled in a gold foiled one from Scribble Prince Co. The tidy up script is also from SPC in gold foil, and the yoga munchkin is from Once More With Love. The yoga script is from Letters to Apollo. On Tuesday, it was payday, so I used a piece of washi along with a payday script that was on, I think that was from a gold foiled freebie from Scribble Prince Co. at one point, so that's where I got that sticker from. I also wanted to snuggle my Maisie girl first thing in the morning and used a Shih Tzu sticker from, I believe that's from the Sticky Committee, and the Snuggle Maisie script is a custom from Kinsey's Creations. I marked work that day the same way that I had on Monday, and then I marked drinking some coffee. The coffee cup sticker is from Magic Prince Co., who is open again, so I will leave her shop linked down below. And then the coffee script is actually a coffee run script that I trimmed down from Scribble Prince Co. In the evening, I just wanted to do a big laundry day, so I used a half box to mark that. The laundry panda is from Happy Daya, and the laundry script is from SPC. And then to finish off my evening, I had a wine night. And in order to fit that wine night script a little bit better in the box, I decided to trim it down, but that is from Letters to Apollo. And the wine glasses clinking are from Scribble Prince Co. On Wednesday morning, I woke up and had some coffee. I guess this was just kind of a coffee week this week. Um, yeah, so I marked that basically the same way that I had on Wednesday with the script from SPC and coffee cup from Magic Prince Co. And I didn't realize that I did this before, but I put the work icon on the other side, which looks a little bit funny now that I'm looking at it now, but I basically marked work the same way that I had earlier in the week. Then I put down this stressed AF munchkin from Once More With Love because I was stressed that day. After work, I decided to have a lazy day just because it had been kind of a stressful work day. The cow onesie emoji is from the Coffee Monsters Co. and the Lazy Day script is from SPC. I also did some yoga that evening and both of those yoga stickers are from Magic Prince Co. On Thursday, the first thing that I wanted to mark was that I was dealing with some insomnia. This was around the time where I was having steroid infusions and that is one of the major side effects of it. So wanted to mark that in with this very tired looking munchkin from Once More With Love. Then my husband made me coffee that morning, which was most certainly much needed after the lack of sleep I had the night before. And that coffee cup again is from Magic Prince Co. Then I marked work the same way that I had earlier in the week. And again, I used another stressed AF munchkin from Once More With Love. I'm really glad that I used a super cute kit for this week because 
<laughs> Looking at my plans now, um, it was not a great week for me. But anyway, then I wanted to light some fall candles just as sort of a me time, relax kind of deal. The Emoti? Emoti, yes, is from the Coffee Monsters Co. And then I also had to work late that day, so having the candles to de-stress was helpful, and the working late munchkin is from Once More With Love. On Friday, I ended up pulling in one of the bougie full box extenders, but I did that off camera because you didn't need to see me fighting with it for like 15 minutes straight. Then I marked work the same way that I had for the rest of the week. And I was exclusively working from home, I just didn't mark it this week. Afterwards, I needed to mark that I got my second round of IV steroids. Sorry for the car in the background. The needle sticker is from Little Miss Papery, I believe. And then I also wanted to mark reading the icon and the script are both from Skirbel Prince Co. Afterwards, I did a YouTube binge. This is, I think, when I got home. The YouTube binge script is from Kinsey's Creations, and the icon is from Scribble Prints Co. I also needed to pay some bills that evening, so I used this credit card icon from Scribble Prints Co. in gold foil. Afterwards, I wanted to get some video notes done, because I do usually make notes for myself before I record voiceovers for all of my videos, just so that I can remember... Like, if I forget while I'm recording a voiceover where a particular sticker is from, which happens to me pretty frequently, um, I've got my notes that I can look back on, and that pencil sticker is from the Coffee Monsters Co. After working on some video notes, I had uh, some Menchie's frozen yogurt. I got that delivered, and the emoji is from the Coffee Monsters Co., I also watched the Made in an Abyss movie called Journey's Dawn and really enjoyed it. And the Munchkin is from Once More with Love. While I was watching that movie, I ended up painting my nails and I used a paint nail script from Kinsey's Creations and an icon from Magic Prince Co. I really just enjoyed using all of the gold foil this week. Afterwards, it was the PVC sale, and I don't remember what I purchased during the PVC sale, but I probably went a little ham, if I know myself. So yeah, just used this like ninja shopping emoji from the Coffee Monsters Co. to mark that. Then I wanted to mark that I ended up getting a headache that day, and yeah, so I just marked that with a munchkin from Once More With Love, and then I finished off my evening by doing a hair mask. The towel hair girl is from Magic Prince Co., and the hair mask sticker is from Kinsey's Creations. I did have some trouble getting that full box extender to stay down, so I ended up using my tweezers to sort of hold it there. But now that my planner has been closed on it for a while, I don't have that issue. It was just a little bit annoying while I was trying to film. Anyway, on Saturday, I also had some insomnia from Friday night to Saturday morning. So I used another sleepy munchkin from Once More With Love to mark that. Then I marked filming with an icon from Scribble Prints Co. and a script from Scribble Prints Co., because while I couldn't sleep, I decided to put down some spread bases just as sort of like a relaxing thing while I couldn't actually sleep. I think I was doing that until like, gosh, I think it was probably almost five in the morning that day. That I do remember from this time. Then I marked sleeping in with a sloth onesie emoji from the Coffee Monsters Co. and a sleep in script from Scribble Prince Co. Then when I got up, I snuggled my fur babies. The paw print sticker is from Scribble Prints Co. I think it's from one of her freebie samplers. And the snuggle fur babies script is a custom from Kinsey's Creations. That day we ordered Tim Hortons for breakfast, brunch kind of deal. And the Tim Hortons stickers are from the sticker party. Then let's see. I guess I needed a little bit more space to fit everything that I needed to fit that day, so I'm just sort of moving everything around so that I can get everything in there. 
Um, then my husband and I watched the new Made in Abyss movie that came out in 2020, and it was amazing and also super sad, so just wanted to mark that in. But yeah, the munchkins are from Once More With Love to mark that, and then I marked getting some O Sushi. I think I had actually gotten a bento box from O Sushi that day, so I marked that in with a bento box sticker from the Coffee Monsters Co. On Sunday morning, I did a YouTube binge first thing. The script is from Kinsey's Creations, and the munchkin is from Once More With Love. Then I had some time to snuggle my maple girl. Probably she was snuggling me while I was watching YouTube, but I just wanted to mark that in. The script is from Kinsey's Creations, and the dog sticker is from the Sticky Committee. I also watched, I think it was a new episode of Fruits Basket that day. So I used a label sticker and a gold foiled TV sticker. That TV sticker I think is also from like one of the freebie samplers from Scribble Prints Co. Just generally. I also did some laundry that day and the script and the laundry icon are both from Scribble Prints Co. Then I did like the last half of the day sort of out of order. I played some Pokemon Sword, and the Switch sticker is from Sticky Sloth Designs, who is no longer open, unfortunately, and I also cleaned my office that day, and that emoji is from the Coffee Monsters Co. So here is the finished spread, and a little Viv Wiggle to show off all of the gold foil. I'm a little bit sad that Viv is not making YouTube videos anymore. Viv of Viv loves to plan, but I know she is on to bigger and better things. So here's everything that I have left in the kit. I hope you enjoyed this spread. I hope you stay safe, everyone, and I will see you in my next one. Take care.